What's up, guys? Hope everyone's fantastic. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope you had a great last week. Uh, as for the Tigers, uh, their week started out fantastic with a 2 out of 3 series victory against Cleveland. But over the weekend, uh, they got swept in Baltimore. With some winnable games, but you still got swept, which sucks. And uh, they did win in Milwaukee tonight. I haven't. This is a late YouTube video for me tonight. It's about 10.30 Eastern time right now. But, uh, yeah, they won tonight 4-2 to two in Milwaukee. So starting off the series great there, uh, which is nice to see with a much-needed win. But, yeah, we we took two out of three from the Guardians earlier in the week, which was really good to see with Eduardo Rodriguez. Man, he's been excellent his last two starts. Cleveland, he pitched eight innings, uh, no earned. And he had a perfect game yesterday through eight innings, but we still ended up losing yesterday, which is a whole other thing. But... I will say this, since the Baez benching, where he got benched on a uh, miscue on the bases, an absolute terrible miscue where he thought there was about to be three outs when he ran on a fly out to center and said he got doubled up, there was only one out. Uh, he is he is perked up a little bit. I mean, the only thing that I'd like to see from him more is more power hits, power numbers like hitting home runs. He doesn't have a homer yet on the year, and he's batting three every night. He's hitting the ball a lot better recently, but there's the power's not there right now. We need to see a little bit more power from Baez. But overall, he's played a lot better the last week and a half, two weeks. That's encouraging to see. Riley Green and Spencer Torkelson have been in a slump recently. Those two guys um, have been in a slump recently, which is shitty because this lineup is 10 times better when they're hitting. And we need him to hit because they're our young guys. We need to see some better at-bats from them going forward. Um, Twerk and Green, they have the potential. They're really good players they got to put it together here this season so we can take the next step going forward and uh, next year. And they'll, they'll, they need to be big pieces to this lineup. They do. They have to be, and they, I think they will be. They just, they've just they been struggling recently. As for other players, Zach McKinstry has really impressed me. That, Matt Verling, Nick Maton, those three guys have really impressed me. The new additions this year have really, really impressed me so far. Nick Maton had a huge three-run over tonight. After he was 0 for 23, he had a bunt single, and then he had a three-run shot, which was needed out of him. Um, yeah, I mean, big win tonight for us um, against Milwaukee. We just need to continue. We just we were lacking that big hit. We finally got one tonight with two outs. Maton hit a 3-1 pitch, and he absolutely killed it to right field. He, it was a no-doubter. It was about 10, 15 rows up at, at uh, in Milwaukee, but... We're just getting the traffic on the bases. We're just not getting that big hit. And if we can do that more consistently, our pitching is going to keep us in most games. So you can do that. You can win some series consistently. That would be huge. You just need to get that big hit. You, If you get one big hit a game, you're looking good. That's how good your pitching is, man. You just need that one big hit a game. And you've been lacking that. You got it tonight, finally. But like I said, you've been lacking it. We're 8-13 uh, and on the year now. We're 21 games into this season. Could be worse, could be better as well. So I'll, I'll be, I'll be, it's you know, you'd like to be you know a little bit closer to five hundred, but eight thirteen. The Central's lost some games too early on, so you're about four games out of first, three and a half right now. So you're staying in it after your abysmal start against Tampa, uh, getting swept that opening weekend and getting swept your first home series. You've already gotten swept three times in the, this early. Uh, going here. You got swept by Tampa opening weekend in Tampa. You got swept the home opener uh, against Boston, and you got swept over the weekend against Baltimore. Are all Tampa's really good, Boston's 500, and Orioles are really solid. I understand that, but getting swept's unacceptable. You, you won a series against Houston. You took one. You lost another series against Toronto. And you, beat it. you took a series from Cleveland. Uh, you just got to be more consistent. Consistency is the key. And we're, we've are we lacked consistent, consistency early on. Hopefully we can find it here going forward, though. Uh, we have two more against the Brewers. And then the Orioles come in to Detroit for four games starting Thursday for a weekend series, uh, four-game weekend series against the Orioles. So they have six games left by before I talk to you guys next on next Monday, which will be May 1st. You guys take care of yourselves. Thanks for tuning in, as always. And uh, I will see you on here May 1st. Have a great week, everybody. Go Tigers, baby.